this kid still surprises with his catchy and defined appearance. Yes, and with reliability, as it turned out, everything is more or less in order, this beautiful toy is not so easy to break. However, there are some nuances. A charged version of the subcompact crossover appeared in 2011. In our market, the Juke Nismo was sold exclusively with an all-wheel drive transmission and a sports independent suspension with a slightly reduced ground clearance. Under the hood, a 1.6-liter turbo engine with a capacity of 200 forces took root, paired with a six-speed manual gearbox or a variator. The car seems pretty and damn attractive to one, others consider it to be too showy, but this crumb will not leave anyone indifferent. Be that as it may, but there were quite a lot of people who wanted to buy this baby secondhand. However, there are also quite a few who seek to get rid of it. In order not to run into a pig in a poke, we offer a complete medical history of Juka. We officially sold the Juke of the English Assembly. Although this did not prevent the appearance of corrosion on its body, it is mainly the rear pillars of the body that suffer, which the owners book with a protective film, and at the same time coat the body seams with anti-corrosion. Over time, paint can bubble up on the tailgate, hood, and front fenders. Special durability from the paintwork is also not to be expected. Therefore, chips and scratches quickly appear on the case, which, however, are in no hurry to rust. The windshield is rubbed rather quickly, which, moreover, can crack from a small chip. In cold weather, headlights and glass side mirrors burst. Replacing the amalgam of the mirror element will cost from 30 hundred rubles. Bumpers sag due to weak mounting caps. Salon is not so outrageous. The plastic in the finish is inexpensive, but the design of the front panel is quite nice. Although the hard plastic is quickly covered with scratches, the steering wheel braid is wiped off. Little things but annoying. But the engines are generally reliable. There are three of them on the Juke and all 1.6 liter gasoline engines with a capacity of 94, 117 and 190 horsepower. The base 94 horsepower is simple and unpretentious, and the content is reliable and inexpensive. True, the market is dominated by 117 horsepower, HR16DE, modifications and turbo versions. On these engines, the timing chain stretches to 100,000 km. And then the engine does not start well, stupid, and at one fine moment it simply dies, the camshaft position sensor will work. At the same time, the rear engine mount is rented, from 40 hundred rubles. Others last longer, but are more expensive. Oil seals and seals leak with age. Instead of gaskets, there is a sealant that dries out after 5 to 7 years. Coolant can leave the expansion tank. 5,000 rubles, which is cracking at the joint, or through the thermostat O-ring. The MR16 DDT turbo engine with direct injection is more demanding on the quality of fuel and oil than its atmospheric counterpart. In addition to the stretching timing chain and other minor malfunctions, he has problems with the crankcase gas recirculation system and the intake manifold. But the turbine, from 35,000 rubles, takes care of an average of 150,000 kilometers or more. There are no complaints about mechanical 5 and 6 speed gearboxes. But the variator overcame problems. Moreover, the Jacko JF011E variator was combined with a 117 horsepower engine, and its enhanced version was combined with the turbocharged one. The base unit sometimes fell apart for 25,000 kilometers. And the general statistics are such that by 150,000 kilometers the pushing belt wears out from 35,000 rubles. It is changed along with the conical pulleys and the stepper motor. The reinforced version of the CVT is more durable, and the cost of its repair is no more expensive than the base CVT. Transmission A 5-speed manual was combined with atmospheric engines, and a 6-speed with the turbo engine. Both of them are a priori reliable, but the variator is not at all without problems. But with the 190 horsepower, 4, was combined with the reinforced version of the CVT which turned out to be noticeably more reliable. The all-wheel drive system also fails. Although with long slipping, the clutch overheats. Engine. The stretchable timing chain on the turbo engine was replaced in 2013 with a reinforced one. Therefore, the problems with it practically disappeared. And on the aspirated, the upgraded part was installed after restyling. The chain has become noticeably more durable, although not so much as to forget about this problem now it is guaranteed to withstand 150,000 kilometers of run. Suspension. The weak point in the chassis is the support bearings of the struts that are poorly protected from dirt, 1800 rubles each. 
already by 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers, the rattle coming from the bowels of the front suspension will herald their failure. The remaining elements of the chassis live up to hundreds of thousands of kilometers and longer, with the exception of the stabilizer struts and bushings, which wear out at 50,000 to 80,000 kilometers. Body. The paintwork of the Dzuk is rather frail, and the body iron itself is very thin. Therefore, chips and scratches quickly appear on the body of the car, which, however, are not in a hurry to be covered with rusty spots and stains. The rear pillars of the body and the fifth door are the first to undergo corrosion. The owners book these places with a special film. Electrician. If the electric booster suddenly fails, do not rush to call a tow truck. Usually it is enough to replace the battery. It is better if it is more powerful. The capacity of the standard battery is not enough, especially when used in the cold season. Complaints come to the glitches of climate control and multimedia. Repair of these systems is quite dreary. 